on the pack out. Mark Batham of the U.S. has been around for a long time. He stopped skiing for 20 years. He's been back since 2008. He's a 55-year-old from Seattle, Washington. Just missed the medal in Vancouver, finishing in fourth place in this Super G event. Well, Mark's keys in the B2 category, same category as the previous two athletes that we've seen. So again, that's about 3 to 5% of, of vision. You can see his guide wearing that bright clothing to help, uh, to help Mark see him down the course. That could just be me, but it seems like just a wee little bit more distance between guide and skier this time around. There is, and that's, you know, a lot that, that has to be a preference for the athlete and the guide to figure out. And they train that, and they have to figure out what works best for them. They, at least it's consistent, and that is the key for them to be keeping consistent spacing all the way down. Lauren, he's 55. You can still come back. You have <laughs> lots of time. It's quite impressive to see, to see an athlete competing still at that age. I can still come back. Although we saw that feature on Paulette Bourgon, and she's so impressive in this. She was one of my teammates in track and field way back in a long time ago. Oh, close to the gate there, Batham, just that blue gate. He's got the lead by almost a tenth, of, or just over a tenth of a second. But you can see he kind of swung wide on that one turn, kind of almost looking like he lost his guide for a minute there. Again, he's having a solid run. It's clean, it's smooth, it's not overly aggressive, but a lot of times in the visually impaired category, that's what you need. It's a clean, smooth, solid run. Krakow's is the time to beat. Batham goes to second place. So an impressive run by Mark Batham of the U.S. He sits in second now behind Jakob Krakow.